Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Doug and I've got another topic on baseball caps for you today. I have gotten a number of questions over the years that I've had my channel about people wanting me to review a style or a cap from 47 brand. They're really the next biggest competitor to New Era, although it's not very close. I'm a big fan of the standard crown fitted uh, 5950 from New Era, of course. 47 brand tends to specialize in what are more lower profile silhouettes and more the dad cap style. So really, I haven't bought a lot of 47 brand in the time that I've you know, collected caps. That changed a little bit because I came across a collection from 47 brand. Uh, it was called The Whole Shot, and this was only available for a select number of teams. I saw it within the past year, and right now it's 2020 as I record this. So this design, it's the elephant with the crossed bats, and uh, it's been used uh, on the New Era Clubhouse collection, both in 2019 with kind of a sublimated graphic, and in 2020 again on that Clubhouse collection from New Era. But this was cool because I found it on a 47 brand fitted, which I really haven't seen a lot of those. So sneak preview, the Oakland A's cap right up there over my left shoulder. I picked it up and decided to review it. And one thing that I'll note right away is it was $30 direct from 47 brand. If you go to their website and pick up one of these whole shot caps, 30 bucks is the list price plus shipping. So. Um, that already is a great deal compared to 40 ish that we've been paying lately for 5950s. So that's a good start. First thing of note is this is a wool acrylic blend, which is immediately different than most 5950s. And the exterior of the fabric has got a little bit more of what I would call a nap to the surface, so it's a little rougher. It kind of feels like the new era wool caps, a little bit rougher on the outside to the touch. I would say the other thing with the acrylic, and I've noticed this is uh, with other caps that have an acrylic blend, is the color does not seem to be as saturated as either the poly or wool that you get with a 5950. So it's just not as deep and rich a color. It already has a little bit of a fade, though not like some of the really washed and distressed uh, dad caps that 47 brand makes. So it's still in pretty good shape relative to those. Now this does have an embroidered and raised logo. And then on the side, it's got the 47 brand logo right where you'd be used to seeing the new era flag. And that is color matched, at least on this cap, to the colorway of the team that's on it. So on the rear of this cap, there is no MLB Batterman that has actually been replaced with a script Oakland from the Jersey design. And that's very similar to what New Era does with their 3930s when they take the team name or the city name and uh, put the, the word mark on the back of the cap. Now, a couple of physical shape differences that you notice right away too is the, the cap that I got, I would say that the crown is much more flat on top and possibly uh, a little less volume than a standard 5950, depending on where that varies. And then the other big difference is that the visor has a much more squared off shape. If you see the photos here, you can see a standard 5950 versus this 47 brand. And it's just got more of a flat edge at the front when you look at it from the top down. So um, two big differences. The crown feels a little bit more shallow and flat and the visor is squared off. Now, when you flip to the inside, you'll notice a lot of the details on the inside are very similar to what you get on a 5950. So you've got the branded seam tape, you've got uh, the button up top, it's got 47 stamped into that button clasp on the inside. The buckram is actually a darker color in this cap. It's actually black and you've come to expect the white buckram um, from New Era. And then at the back end of the cap, the size and brand label are combined into one tag around the sweatband. There is also a Cooperstown collection and material specification tag that, that both of those fold out like some tags you'll find in other caps. And it does specify that this cap was made in China. The sweatband is uh, black and it is, uh, feels to be polyester, very similar. It's lined and padded just like any other polyester sweatband that you'll find in an on-field from New Era or similar cap. 
when I actually went to wear this cap, I did my normal prep, which if you've seen in any other of my videos, uh, I put it on the hat jack to get it a little bit more shaped for my long oval head shape, give it a little stretch and, and break in on the shape there. Um, steamed it to remove some of the folds um, for when it was stored and shipped to me, uh, particularly on the side, those creases that are there. Uh, and then I used also the steam to put a hand bend in the visor. As, as you probably know from other videos, uh, if you steam your visor, it gets a lot softer and it's way easier to get a shape in there um, when you do it when it's warm and you've steamed the fabric. So did all of that and then I mentioned the flatness of the crown and I actually had to shape that a little bit um, for the volume and give my forehead a little bit extra room. And how I did that was I used a size one soccer ball, a skills ball, which is something I featured in a recent video on how to round your crown. So I did that a little bit on this cap to get myself a little bit more volume right up here. Now, after that, got it on my head with all those edits made. And I have to say this was a very comfortable cap. I think the sweatband is comfortable. The logo placement uh, with the buckram, it's very flat. So there's no irritation of the forehead. Um, and uh, the extra volume I gave myself in the crown, I think this is actually a really comfortable fitted cap. And I was maybe a little surprised by that because it's a little bit cheaper and some of the materials are not quite as nice um, as I've mentioned, but it's a really nice cap. And so I was pleasantly surprised by the performance of the way this felt on my head. So I would say that uh, even down to the buckram, for whatever reason, the buckram in these front two panels actually feels a little bit softer to me than some of the new eras that I've uh, bought lately. I think a number of viewers have said that uh, ever since the Made in USA cap stopped being available for the 5950, that, that uh, the, the crowns, particularly the buckram areas, have gotten a little bit stiffer and maybe like a starchy kind of feel. Uh, I would agree with that, and I would say that this 47 brand takes me back a little bit to a feel that's more like the Made in USA New Era caps, where you get just a little bit of that softness back in those front two panels. Now, one of the first deficiencies or shortfalls that I found with this cap is that the visor, I am guessing this thing is almost all plastic. New Era uses uh, what appears to be a resin and fiber blend. So it's kind of a, uh, like a plastic cardboard hybrid. And uh, that gives it the ability to retain a shape pretty well. This 47 brand, the reason why I think it's all plastic is because I steamed it, uh, hand curved it while it was hot, but I don't think I got it quite hot enough and I don't wanna go too far on that. Um, to reach the softening point of the plastic to really form it up nicely because it keeps on drifting back to a flatter shape and I keep on trying to hand bend it every time I break out this cap and wear it. Um, so it doesn't hold a shape very well compared to the 5950. Now I would also say that the acrylic content, the fact that it's so high, this is 85% acrylic and only 15% wool. And I find that the acrylic uh, makes for a hotter cap in the warmer um, seasons. I've noticed that this Oakland cap that I've got, this 47 brand cap, is a little bit warmer than what I'd ordinarily expect from any other cap in my collection. I think there's advantages for the 5950 in material and color. I already mentioned the deeper color saturation, and I actually think that the material choices that New Era has are also better ventilated and higher quality. The visor on a 5950 is better and mainly because I like to curve my visor and it holds a shape better um, and I don't have to hand bend it, hand flex it so, so often every time I wear it. The main benefits though are the fact that at $30 this is a significant difference with a 5950. If you're talking a $10 price break for the quality of the cap that you get here, I still think it's a pretty good quality cap. And I think this kind of causes me to wonder, and maybe you as well, is that um, where does all that extra money go when New Era is charging 40 bucks for these? So 
Obviously, there's probably some differences in the craftsmanship, the material choices, etc. It's the official cap of MLB, so I'm sure there's some sponsorship dollars there. Uh, New Era puts their name on stadiums, like in Buffalo. There's a lot of marketing spend, and so there's a lot of things that don't go directly into the cap that New Era does that probably contributes to the higher cost of their caps. Of course, New Era produces an overwhelming number of caps for every sport, um, they have so many different collections. That plus the fact it does seem that uh, New Era is always experimenting a little bit with materials. I mean, maybe they're working with other companies to do that, but certainly they're probably driving some of the R&D behind that and the expense behind that. And I wouldn't expect that to come out of a place like 47 Brand. In closing, I would have to say that this is a really good start for a cap for 47 brand. Um, there's probably one or two others that I would be interested in picking up, and they happen to be more historical designs from California teams. There's another A's cap that's interesting, and maybe an Angels cap um, that they've taken a shot at. So I may pick up more of these, but I'd say I want to see more of these from 47 because it would be nice to have an alternative, especially a lower cost alternative, and maybe they could start doing their different things with the caps to make them more compelling from a design standpoint. So anyway, so I'd say 47 brand, it's a good cap. It doesn't measure up in all areas compared to the 5950, as I mentioned. Maybe with a few tweaks, they could really have something on their hands. So um, I just urge 47 brand, keep going. As always, thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time.